Elminster gains resistance to cold and fire damage, immunity to magic and psionics that it would affect his mind, can breathe underwater, and as an action, can unleash a silver fire bolt line five feet wide and 60 feet long. Hail and well met and welcome back to more Realms lore from the original creator of the Forgotten Realms himself, Sir Ed Greenwood, who Ooh. many people think looks a lot like a particular old mage that is quite revered, not only in the Baldur's Gate 3 community, but also the official Realms community as a general thing. And uh, today we're talking about how to roleplay Elminster better, which also super exciting. Ed, please leave them in. <laughs> Oh, that, but, but that, that would be telling. They have to watch the video to find out what Elvin's just like. I can't be doing it now. I love this stuff so much. <laughs> anyway, okay, so if you're enjoying these videos, please consider, be uh, consider becoming a protector of the realms by heading on over to patreon.com slash edgreenwood. And not only does that directly contribute to L, but it also helps us continue making these videos for you here. So, uh, yeah, get hype because we're talking about how to roleplay Elminster from Elminster. Come on, dude. We had your spells here. <laughs> because I was asked by TSR and then Wizards of the Coast to portray Elminster for years at Gen Cons and some other conventions and public appearances, and because I now look a little like a paunchy version of him, many people think Elminster is me or is my realm self-insert character. Those same people are almost all too young to have known me at the time I created Elminster. I was five years old back then, folks, and a very shy nerd. So, no white hair, no beard, no mellifluous voice, no grand manner. So Elminster is not me, nor am I him. He's far ruder than I'll ever be comfortable being, for one thing. However, as his creator, detailer, and the guy who's written more fiction about him than anyone else, I am the world's greatest expert on Elminster. I often get asked by Dungeon Masters how to best portray Elminster when player characters meet him in their campaigns. The frequency of these questions is increasing, not waning, so it's evidently time to share some general tips. First, don't worry about the accent. Say ye from time to time and talk normally the rest of the time, unless you have some of his bon mots from the books memorized. Elminster is a genuinely wise old man, as in, older than dirt, has seen it all, has outlived not just everybody who was around when he was a kid, but the kingdoms that were around back then, too. Right, but what will he say and do? Well, Elminster is gruff, cantankerous, but kind. He's a shrewd judge of all creatures and so is rarely surprised. Player characters should feel like he already knows their secrets and is always one step ahead, with plans B, C, D, and E up his sleeve if anything goes bad or they turn on him. He enjoys being mysterious. Even more, he likes being whimsical zagging when everyone expects him to zig. Within limits, of course. Mister wants him to spread the use of magic throughout the world, so he will always be slipping spell scrolls and little enchanted doodads like glowstones to player characters and others, instructing them in spellcasting or warning them of pitfalls. If ye don't do thus, be aware that thy fireball will pull to the left. Coinless wizards may discover that he's left them a purse of coins somehow. He was an accomplished thief in his youthful days. L likes to tease, but never to the point of upsetting, as opposed to annoying others. He's a very good actor. He can't be embarrassed having seen or done it all. Being naked or covered in filth or being shown up won't bother him or cause the slightest hesitation. He doesn't get angry. He gets even. He plays the long game, planning things years ahead and making deft little arrangements that will lead to consequences years down the road. Thanks to drawing on the weave, he doesn't need to sleep, 
and never seems to get tired. He can't run out of spells because he can call on the weave directly to counter magic or to shape any magical effect, even if he doesn't have the spell to cast it. But he firmly believes that the key to mastery of magic is knowing when not to use it. So unless he's exasperated, disintegrate. Or, ah, that meteor swarm went well, let's hurl another. He won't throw magic around. That's for children among wizards who still feel the need to impress. As for specific powers and abilities, hearken to these. Arcane recovery once a day. When he finishes a short rest, Elminster recovers all his spell slots a fifth level and lower. Elminster's Contingency. If Elminster is about to die, or if his soul is about to be trapped, he is automatically teleported to a demiplane, his safe hold, where he has a full spell library and the spell Heal is cast on him, 70 hit points regained. Once this innate Mistra conferred spell is used, Elminster needs 10 days to prepare himself before using it again. Kiss of the Weave, three times a day. If Elminster fails a saving throw, he can choose to succeed instead. This power replenishes instantly, but only in realm space within the Weave. Magic Resistance. Elminster has advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Spell Mastery. Elminster can choose to cast any wizard spell he knows, has memorized or in his carried books or scrolls as a ritual. Weave Mastery. Due to his attunement to the weave, Elminster can, as a free action, twist the weave to manifest any magical effect, spell, or item he knows or has seen cast in realm space at any time without the need for somatic or material components. This functions as the equivalent of a one bonus action casting time spell. He gains one level of exhaustion immediately after using this ability. Note that he wears a ring that can undo this. This ability can only be used in realm space where the weave exists. Actions. Multi-attack. Elminster casts a spell. He then makes two melee weapon attacks if he desires. He can take three attack actions in a turn. If he uses his psionics in a turn, his attack actions are reduced to two in that turn. L is a psionic talent of 18th level D12. He functions as a sorcerer, but burns hit points instead of sorcery points to power mind over body. Elminster can use psionic talent, psychic strike, mind over body, psychic aura, and tower of iron will. L customarily uses his psionics defensively, resorting to them only to withstand psionic attacks or when he has no useful relevant magic he can bring to bear. Silver Fire, three times a day. Elminster can surround himself with the Silver Fire. It lasts for one minute. While Silver Fire is active, Elminster gains resistance to cold and fire damage, immunity to magic and psionics that it would affect his mind, can breathe underwater, and as an action, can unleash a silver fire bolt line five feet wide and 60 feet long. Each creature along that line must make a DC 19 dexterity saving throw, taking 45, 10 D8 radiant damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. Unerring direction. If Elminster is on a world or plane that has a north, Elminster always knows where it is, what direction. If he's conscious, if he's underground or inside a building, he always knows up and down. Sleepless. L becomes tired and needs short rests and long rests, like most mortals, but he can, while in what realm space, where the weave extends only, choose to remain awake indefinitely without any loss of alertness. He does become fatigued when he does so and uses this ability only in must stand sentinel emergencies. Arcane Tradition Lore Master. Proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check Elminster makes that uses the arcana, history, nature, or religion skill. When Elminster rolls initiative, it is either an intelligence or a dexterity check, player's choice. When El casts a spell with a spell slot, 
and the spell deals Acid, Cold, Fire, Force, Lightning, Necrotic, Radiant, or Thunder damage, the player can substitute that damage type with one other type from that list. Change only one damage type per casting of the spell. When L casts a spell with a spell slot and the spell requires a saving throw, L can change the saving throw from one ability score to another of the player's choice, but can't do so again until he finishes a short or long rest. L can transform the visible manifestation of spells to different forms so they're not readily recognized. Alchemical Casting When L casts a spell with a spell slot, he can expend one additional spell slot to augment its effects for this casting, mixing the raw stuff of magic into a spell to amplify it. An additional first level spell slot can increase the spell's raw force. If damage is rolled for the spell when cast, increase the damage against every target by 2d10 force damage. If the spell can deal damage on more than one turn, it deals this extra force damage only on the turn it is cast. An additional second level spell slot can increase the spell's range. If the spell's range is at least 30 feet, it becomes one mile. Touch spells gain a range of 20 feet. An additional third level spell slot can increase the spell's potency. The spell's save DC is increased by two. As a bonus action, L can replace one prepared spell with another spell from his spellbook, but can do this only once until he finishes a short or long rest. Master of Magic. As a bonus action, L can call to mind the ability to cast one spell of the player's choice from the spell list of any class. The spell must be of a level for which L has spell slots, and except for not needing material components, he follows the usual procedure for casting it, including expanding a spell slot. If the spell isn't a wizard spell, it counts as a wizard spell when L casts it. The ability to cast the spell vanishes from his mind when he casts it. L can't use this feature again until he finishes a long rest. Note that this ability overcomes the usual limitation on spellcasters of only casting one spell in a turn. Unless one spell is a bonus action and the other is a cantrip with a casting time of one action. So L can cast a normal spell and a master of magic spell in a turn, but cannot also cast a one action casting time cantrip in that turn to launch three magics. However, in a turn in which he doesn't use this Master of Magic ability, L can cast a bonus action spell and a one action casting time cantrip. And of course, the old mage carries a huge arsenal of magic items, from multiple daggers and no less than three ever-smoking pipes, to the truly mighty Staff of Mistress Herald. But we'll be sitting here all night if I start talking about them. The short version? If you meet him, be nice to him. He's a much better friend than enemy. And if you want a new spell or scroll with a spell you really need right now, just ask. You never know. Okay, follow up. The most burning Elminster question. What's yeah. you got on under that robe, man? More Elminster. More? <laughs> <laughs> um, just... Okay, panties of feather falling. Okay. He always wears. Um... There are several small garments with really short, like finger length rods, and they are um, spell storage things. If you break them, they release a spell that was cast into them. So he can toss one to somebody, or he can break it himself to work a spell when he otherwise couldn't, if he has use of his hands. Um, and he, these days, he also wears a foundation garment. I'm imagining a chastity belt. Uh, well, no, no, more like a girdle <laughs> to hold in the belly. Um, maybe those, uh, maybe those, uh, those white boxer shorts with the little hearts on them. <laughs> yeah. Whenever he casts a healing spell, a single heart disappears. Ah, <laughs> that's sweet. It's kicking ass, dude. You're kicking all the asses and taking all their names. Oh boy. Which is. I will have a whole bunch of named asses in my collection. <laughs> this one's Phil. Yeah. This one's also Phil. <laughs> Hi. 
it's still me. And I'm still sexy. Always have been. Yeah. When I'm not sexy, I am gorgeous. <laughs> and, and I'm subtle. And, and debonair. And modest. And modest. Yeah, yeah, that is. That's there, the important Yes, it, I'm, the, yeah, modesty over, yeah. Just your spread modesty. it deep. Modesty. Spread thickly, folks. I love hearing you brag about your modesty. Yeah, my, my modesty, it's great. It, it's, it's bigly. I've got, I've got <laughs> All right, let's get you cool, buddy. I'm going to stop this video. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry, Veronica, for making, Veronica, I'm sorry. I always pronounce your name wrong, too for making this awesome and um, for, I apologize for making it all one video, but you're a rock star and you tolerate a lot of my bullcrap, so thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll be yeah. good at it by now. I, I appreciate you a lot. <laughs> all right.